Welcome to video number 47 on working with train controller. Another new feature of version 9 is that we can now use HTML in our text fields. And that really opens up a whole lot of uh, possibilities with regard to styling of our texts. Let's have a look. In the previous video we ended up with, uh, for instance, this text, uh, the shadow station, which has a nice thick uh, border around it, something that was not possible with version 8. If we take that one step further over here, this is one text field. And it has different colors, different uh, borders, different sizes of fonts. Uh, everything is possible with HTML in one text field. If you look inside, then we see that there is not only plain text, there is actually code in here. It is the hypertext markup language. And this, this markup part it, uh, says that you can do the styling inside one and the same document and it still stays more or less readable. All right, so how can we learn HTML? Well, luckily there are some very nice tools on the internet. By the way, HTML, that is the, the language of the internet, the whole World Wide Web, all, all the web pages are built or written with HTML. So that's what we look at a lot. Um, there is a very nice website on the internet, which is called W3 Schools, the World Wide Web Schools. And you can learn anything there is to know about HTML and about styling. And the fun of this website is you can try it out here in this website yourself. So before uh, you, you copy your code to train controller, you can already see over here if it is working because on the left we have our code and on the right we can see how it looks. Let me take away everything that we do not need for train controller. We only need these two tags called HTML and close HTML slash HTML. Everything is in between those two. Let's do a little simple test. Uh, okay, test. Uh, this is the test of HTML for train controller. Let's have a look if I press run how that looks. Aha, well, uh, first of all, I noticed that uh, I used uh, carriage returns here, but HTML does not look at any carriage returns, also spaces it does not look at. You have to tell it about your styling in a lot of detail. Well, let's do that. There are a couple of headers inside the, the HTML language. For instance, I can use header one. Those are quite convenient if you quickly want to change to a larger font size. That's what the headers do. In, uh, in Google, they have another function. They help the search engine to, uh, to find your keywords. Uh, obviously, that is not uh, the case here in uh, train controller. Let me make a header three over here. So I, I, I only use the headers to quickly get a different font size. And then the, this text is going to be what is called a paragraph. That's the, the, the P tag. And at the very end, we make the slash P tag. So this should do it. I should now get three lines. Yes, I do. And with different font sizes also. That's perfect. Uh, well, I'd like to add a little bit of color. And now I have to type the style is command and then quotes and then color semicolon. Let's make this a red. And let me copy this three times so that I can make a nice painting and have the other two entries uh, in a different color. Let's say blue and green. I'm typing the words over here, but there is a whole tutorial on, on colors uh, inside this website. So have a look over there for all the colors you can, you can, uh, you can imagine. Right now we should get a little color over here. Yeah, we do. And that is perfect. Now I would like to uh, have all this text centered. Well, for that uh, I could use the text align style, but then I have to repeat it three times uh, and I'm lazy. So I make a box around them that is called a division. 
uh, and that division has the style uh, style text align semicolon center and that should do it and now that I opened this division I also have to close the division again and the division is around it's a box around all my text and uh, everything inside that box has uh, its text centered well that's perfect and now I would like to add a little background color to the blue text and that is simple uh, I just add the word background color and then the color is going to be yellow let's have a look and well also that worked perfectly well oh a border yeah we were going to do a border well let's just add a border then uh, border semicolon a solid border of 10 pixels in the color also blue and that should give me my border yes it does so yeah this was just a little bit tinkering around uh, but the, the fun of this website is you can create your HTML you can study it here on the same website and you can immediately see what you are doing and this exactly is the way uh, that this little text over here was or code over here was created uh, oh, what am I doing uh, and that is uh, that created these uh, boxes with different font sizes and different colors so uh, how can this help us uh, uh, this was of course just a, a fancy example but now now to reality we can create a counter for instance uh, in the past a counter looked like this and right now a counter can look like this this is all uh, HTML code no no background images used uh, it looks like an LCD display and the fun of it is that it even works yeah that is not a virtue of the HTML code itself that is by virtue of the use of a variable and a variable in my text that is the uh, object the subject of the uh, next video uh, another example could be uh, I have here a platform sign that is uh, official platform sign of the Dutch railways they are they are uh, all around the country on the stations and look what happens if I send this train away uh, on uh, a auto train for the sake of time uh, yeah uh, there it goes and now if it leaves the station we will see that my platform sign changes to well it does not because I forgot to uh, to uh, default oh uh, I forgot to I have to put it on default first yeah okay <laughs> you never saw this did you uh, oh I start the simulator also if the train leaves the station then we should look over here what happens to this sign yeah it changed all the the words on the sign so this is also a possibility by virtue of the variables that we can place inside a text Next video we will look at that. Thank you for watching and maybe see you back then. Bye bye.